I think this was an interview between Rokana and the Daily Beast, and for some reason they start talking about George Bush. And, and look at what Rokana has to say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Rokana says, I began my career in public service running against Bush's war in Iraq in 2004, but no one doubts his commitment to tolerance and inclusiveness. What? What? What the fuck does that mean? I'm not sure if this is Ro Khanna or if it's uh, Pete Buttigieg. What does that even mean? Inclusiveness? Can someone translate? I'll translate for you. Are you ready? This is once again the neoliberal establishment shilling and trying to whitewash the crimes of the uh, Bush administration, right? So, as you've seen in the past few days, everyone is, for some reason, trying to court George Bush's endorsement. Uh, matter of fact, this endorsement is uh, quite pricey, quite valuable. You know, the New York Times, I think it was, reported that George Bush is not going to endorse Donald Trump. And then George Bush, well, George Bush's uh, team released a statement saying that that's not true, right? So, so it could go either way. He's still deciding. Um, and now Ro Khanna is essentially whitewashing George Bush's record. I mean, e even in the same sentence, he's like, well, you know, the guy is a war criminal, but uh, hey, we get along. Nothing wrong with him. Just a guess, but does it have anything to do with the fact that his wife, Madame Khanna, has, in, has uh, stocks, has investments in seven different defense contractors? It couldn't be that, could it? You know, that you're not really concerned about war criminals. Also, isn't it a bit concerning that Ro Khanna was Bernie Sanders' co-chair, right? He was his campaign co-chair. That doesn't concern you that this guy has a wife who invests in Halliburton. No, sorry, not Halliburton. I'm, I'm scarred by Dick Cheney. <laughs> invests in Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, uh, Boeing, Northrop. And then on top of it, he's trying to whitewash George Bush? Th this is the guy who was the co-chair on Bernie's campaign? What? I thought you're against politicians being corrupt, right? I thought you're against politicians uh, doing the bidding of these enormous multinationals. I thought you're against war. I thought you're against what George Bush did. This, to me, is something wrong. There's something fishy going on. You know, look, uh, let, me, let me spell this out for you so maybe you can understand what I'm saying more clearly. If I were running for president, oof, no thanks. But if I were running for president, and I'm against war, right? I'm against this imperialism. I'm not going to put someone as my co-chair who is, you know, not so offended by George Bush and says things like this. I'm not going to put someone whose family invests in weapons manufacturers as my co-chair. Because not only would that be an enormous conflict of interest, but what the fuck? I don't agree with you. We're on <laughs> opposing ends of this argument. It's not like, oh, we disagree on how to end the wars and how to stop sanctions. No, no, no. This guy's fine with, you know, war criminals. When a little bit of time passes. And then Jeff Weaver, right? <laughs> what is going on here? Can somebody explain this to me? You don't think this is a bit fishy? And, and then again with the BDS movement. He votes to condemn that. Why, why would you do that? Why, 
<laughs> Why would you condemn a peaceful protest? A peaceful protest. To me, to me, if you if you gave me all of these things on a piece of paper and you didn't tell me who this person was, what party they were in, I mean, I would just assume that uh I don't know, they're they're in the Tea Party or they're like Republicans, I don't know. And that's the issue. So you have a one-party system and you can't tell who's who. Uh, every single issue is like a fucking... Tri it's trivial pursuit. It's trivial fucking pursuit. You just got to sit there and you got you to gotta guess where the fuck they stand. This is unacceptable. What, what, what is this? Whack-a-mole? What the fuck are you doing? You know, on this issue, they're, le they're leftists. And then on that issue, they're <laughs> neocons. And then we go to this issue and they're somewhere in the middle... Make up your fucking minds. They're all the same, man. They're all the same.